Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, as you can see. Maybe it's backwards. Um, I've got the uh, selfie cam on, as you can see by my fantastic beanie, DetailJuice.com. It is what it is. So we're working, we're about to start on this 39 foot CV today. This thing is freaking beautiful and it's for a good friend of mine. Uh, they own, I think it's Pocket Change charters i think it was inshore charters but with this thing now they're inshore and offshore so i'm pretty excited for them let me tell you i've been watching these guys on youtube and on facebook and in the past couple of years they have just blown up they're doing fantastic obviously if they can afford to add a beautiful boat like this to their their fleet it's got a quad 350 merc verados on it beautiful beautiful boat You'll notice the flybridge is a little bit uh, hazy. We got to get that all polished out. The underneath of the T-top, we're going to get all that wiped down and protected. It looks pretty good from here. I would imagine the uh, top deck uh, is going to need a little bit of something. They are going to be doing, uh, let me see if I can get onto the boat here. Mm. They are going to be doing uh, sea deck in here. So we're not doing a whole lot with the floor. Um, I will be polishing all of these cowls because if you notice, they're all oxidized. So we'll get those tilted up and then uh, we'll get all this in here polished. And then uh, let me hop on. Got a little bit of rust I need to take care of down there. I saw a little bit, there's a little spot there uh, my marine series hole brightener is awesome for this or the the new pro version which is the same stuff it's just more concentrated got some oh that's bird shit that i'm wiping my hands in oh my god that's gross i didn't know what it was totally bird shit uh got a little rust in here we need to get rid of babe i totally just uh yeah, it's freaking gross. Oh my God. Grab the alcohol. Ugh. Here, just spray my hand. This is gross. Yeah, this is uh, the blooper reel, if you will. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need that alcohol sitting right there, please. Um, all right, so we're gonna get this vinyl all cleaned up. It's not bad, definitely got some dirt on it. Um, gunnels look pretty good. I am gonna polish everything up and inside this thing gonna polish uh that flybridge up there i mentioned already go ahead and pour me some actually i got it what a nasty mat just give me the gamut oh fudge one more i can feel it's all okay now i just want to throw up because of it is what it is all right anyway gotta get this uh yeah i know she's laughing at me you're always laughing at me because I'm always doing dumb shit. That's why. <laughs> That's why. Anyway, so we got to get the uh, windshield all clean. Uh, this is a 2016 CV, uh, if you didn't know. And it just, it's, it's a really fantastic boat. So I'm likely going to have to get on my floating dock to do the entire hull. But I did put together a contraption that may work. You don't see it, but it's that pole sitting there. I'm gonna see if we can make uh, <laughs> see if we can make this work. I'm actually, if this does work, uh, I've got some uh, design improvement. <laughs> if it does work, I have some design improvements uh, already in the works. I just didn't want to go crazy with this uh, because I didn't know if it would work or not. Uh, so I've got a couple ideas. I'm gonna actually manufacture this and sell it if it works. We will know by the end of today if it works. Um, I love all the padding around uh, the gunnel area because, well, it's not an area I gotta polish, but we do need to clean it and protect it really well. Lots of fishing rod storage on this boat. The helm is absolutely stunning, very beautiful. All right, well, that's about five minutes of me showing you around this boat. Now it's time to get to work. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, load the gear 
and then get everything cleaned and start polishing on this bad boy. So we'll talk to you very soon. All right, boys and girls, we are up here on the flybridge, as you can see. So I've polished all of this. You can see how glossy this is. Um, polish the sides all in between your gauges and all of that is nice and glossy um, I also polished the what I call the jewelry so I polished the chrome on the throttle I also polished all the stainless that is the steering wheel up here um, I even polished the face of the Garmin unit up here um, in addition to this piece the console up here i also polished the uh the garmin cover the shroud for the uh gps unit polished all that's nice and glossy now um i'm gonna wipe the floor down as i get down and there's some bird shit right there i gotta get off but uh other than that this is pretty much done up here i hand polished all the powder coating on the t-top on the bottom and up here on the flybridge i cleaned all the vinyl protected all the vinyl so we are done up here on the flybridge now it's time to get back to um i've gotten two of the four motors done i don't know if you can tell the two on the right right there the ones that are complete um this one had bird shit all over it and I got it all off. So now it's time to polish both of those. Um, we're polishing the cowls and the bodies. The piece on the back right there, these pieces, they're all really oxidized and I can't really do a lot to them. Um, I got Tony down there getting the gunnel straight and all of that and we're working on the top deck. Um, I'm hoping not to have to come back tomorrow, but I did schedule this boat for two days. Um, I polished all of that too, just so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to get the floor wipe down get that bird shit out of there and then i'm getting out of here get well getting down back on the uh standard deck so i'm gonna go ahead and wipe it all up i just wanted to show you i did come up here and polish everything the jewelry uh electronics and all that i feel like they need, need to uh do a better job of the uh uv protection on those gauges because they all look like garbage but it's because this is closer to the sun. So, all right, well, time to get this buttoned up and get down. All right, we're just finishing up day one. We still got some daylight, but we're not gonna be able to finish today. So we're gonna go ahead and pack it up for the day. If you notice that top deck looks freaking awesome. It's glossy all the way down the top deck. I polished all the non-skid. As you saw, I got all up on the flybridge. We still need to polish the center console. The leaning post back there has a bunch of gel coat on it. And that's about it, really, other than getting a, a solid cleanup done. I am going to have to uh, get on my inflatable dock and do uh, the hull. It's not a big deal. I'll do that tomorrow. Look how glossy, though. Super duper. And look at, look at Miss... Vanna White, Tony White, or not White, but Tony Dean. Look at her. All right, come on, please. Let's go. <laughs> please, let's go. Uh, let's just go. I'm done today. <laughs> well, if we feel if we felt like we were going to get it completed, we would stay until dark. But sunset is uh, six eleven today. As you'll notice, I polished. Uh, all, all four of the, uh, 350 Merc Verados and they look a lot better. The top of the cowls are pretty beat. It's a boat. It's a 2016 boat. Those are the original engines to the boat. Um, got a little polishing dust still, but you'll notice, you'll notice the whole transom area is all glossy. I polished everything except for that rail right there, which I'm not sure if I can get to. I'm going to try to at least hand polish it tomorrow and then all up in there. I'm gonna see what I could do with that tomorrow. And then, like I said, we gotta clean the leaning post and the um, center console and then get a few other things done inside the boat. Uh, but I'm very happy with the gloss I got from these top rails. So everything on the top has been polished. Super excited. Got all that gloss, gloss. All right, we are going to load the, load the truck and we're gonna get out of here.
So we'll see you guys tomorrow for part two of the uh, 39 foot CV extravaganza. All right, guys, we're back for day two of the uh, amazing sea do sea do <laughs> CV detail. I'm uh, walking back over to the boat now. I'm about to air up my little uh, inflatable dock and uh, put this thing in the water. So I'll bring you back as soon as we get started. Got Tony already on the boat, working hard, polishing the console. Uh, we still have to clean the head area. That's the other thing we have to do. So all the top deck is done, flybridge is done. I'm getting ready to inflate my little dock and jump on it and get the hull done. So I'll get this aired up and I'll bring you guys back to see it before I get in the water. All right, this thing is done other than a quick hose down. I'm gonna go ahead and foam it with the uh, foam and coat shampoo and then hose her down. And then that's basically it. We got all the gunnels nice and polished. Everything looks nice and glossy. All the way back. I'm going to just hose down this head area. So I'll bring you back as soon as I'm done with this. All right, before I close this thing down, I wanted to just show you I hosed it all out and made it look good. He had some nasty lines in there and uh, I treated it, put some bleach in there basically. Well, um, so it got rid of the lines, but I can't, so one would say, oh, there's a control panel. Okay, cool. You turn main on, well, bat oh, I'm sorry, turn the battery charger off, turn the main on where the head is, okay? head on there's the control and I can't make it work I'm not sure exactly what's going on and I'm not gonna mess with it so I'm turning everything off battery charger back on it's how I am going to leave it so there's that it's all clean it's good to go all right head is all done now I'm gonna scrub her down and get off and pack up gotta go uh, save the day with the wife all right this 39 foot cvz is donezo so it's all wet still i just hosed her down that gloss is killer uh we scrubbed down the floors uh or the deck i should say but we didn't uh polish it because they're putting sea deck down uh they got some done on the flybridge floor up there uh, the other day we polished all of the jewelry I call all the stainless the jewelry on the boat we polished all of it machine polished it all looks awesome everything's nice and glossy everything's nice and clean everything is freshly juiced and that's what matters all right so we got this thing done took us couple days the reality is if we would have started super early yesterday morning we could have got it done I polished all of the cowls and all of the motor bodies I did not do anything with the lower units um, I did clean out in here I got everything polished and uh, very happy with how it turned out but that's it 39 foot CVZ I'm going to crawl off of this thing, actually very interesting, and I'm off. Look at that thing, thing's beautiful. So got the hole all polished with my little deck there. Look at this, look at that gloss, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh goodness looks so good got the lovely Tony over here she's packing up look at that nice and glossy 
boy she's beautiful that is the same boat right there it's a smaller one that looks to be maybe a 30 32 ish whereas this is a 39 that beast is awesome so took us a couple days to knock it out but we got her done she's beautiful looking good and uh, ready for service so uh, I'm gonna put the information in here in a caption right here and that's the guy you need to contact if you want to take this boat out on a charter uh, they've got some good six person half a day specials and all kinds of the things and you know uh, the rates are really good and yada 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 he's my buddy so use them kind of thing um, yeah so she's all done all glossy ready to hit the next one tomorrow all right guys thanks so much for watching these videos I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble and uh, well I gave you the overview of what happened I'm super happy with how it turned out. If you need a boat detailed, call 813-846-4406. That's my cell phone number. That's how you can get a hold of me if you need me. And uh, if I can help you with your product uh, questions and that kind of thing, check out detailjuice.com. Lots of information on my products there. Or you can just reach out with the cell phone number I just gave you. So thank you so much for watching these videos. I appreciate it uh, a whole lot. Um, without you guys watching the videos, it wouldn't be any sense in making them. Uh, but uh, I'm really, really loving today's weather. We were thinking we were going to be chilly on the water, but we're not. Nice and cool, little breeze. Uh, but this thing is just a beast. I'm really happy uh, to be able to do boats like this. Uh, and we, every single time I'm at a marina, people they comment about how how good things look so that keeps me motivated keeps me rolling i've been detailing over 20 years i've been detailing boats for around 15 years and they're my passion uh, detailing cars rvs motorcycles yeah i don't mind doing that that's awesome it definitely feeds my need for detailing and whatever but boats i'm passionate about i happen to be an avid boater myself so when it comes to boating and that kind of thing, what better things to detail than an actual boat? I mean, I get to be on a boat, on the water, every day, doing what I love, cleaning boats. You know, occasionally the owners will take me out. But I love being on my boat too. I'm actually lifting this thing up out of the water because I'm about to head out. Guys, thank you again for watching. I know I've thanked you a bunch of times, but really... I appreciate you. Um, I used the brand new professional marine line uh, that I will be launching on detailjuice.com March 1st. So just one month away from the new product release, which we do every year. And uh, this year I have a 13 product pro detailer, pro marine detailer lineup that I'm launching. And uh, there are 12 brand new products uh the hull brightener is the same hull brightener that's in the marine series it's just four times as concentrated and the universal uh or i'm sorry the uh, heavy duty the heavy duty vessel cleaner is universal clean and prep but it has a different primer for gel coat uh, it has a penetrant in it that actually soaks in and hardens uh well it, it soaks in and allows the protective product to soak in as well and harden into it so that you're sealing the pores which basically is fighting oxidation so check out gary dean's detail juice nation uh, i'll have all the information of those products if you're a boat detailer and you want to utilize my products i do offer a special pro detailer program i need a copy of your business license to ensure that you are a professional legit detailer and then you can get the pricing uh, for pro detailers on the new marine line uh, and whatever it else whatever else from my lineup you're looking to use so anyway if you got questions for me about products processes service service any of that 813-846-4406 and like i said check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only my products my processes and what i've got going on and guys i got a lot going on 
a lot going on, especially for 2022. I'm pumped ready to get this season started. It's already started pretty fast for us. Uh, we've done, I think, six boats in the past week and a half. So already getting off to a good start. Bring them on, baby. Bring them on. Have a great day, guys. I appreciate you taking the time.